Hello and welcome to the Wilkes Journal Patriots High School Sports Rundown presented by Cooks and produced by River Street Productions. I'm Assistant Sports Editor Brandon Marie. And I'm Sports Editor Zach Colburn. And it was such a busy week last week because of the way the wintry weather moved things around that we are producing two rundowns today. In the second one, the one you are watching at this very moment, we're going to talk about the intercounty basketball matchups that took place last week. In the other one, we are going to talk about the Mountain Valley Athletic Conference championships in both swimming and wrestling. But let's get down to business. On Wednesday, the Cardinals went across town to Miller's Creek and swept the Blackhawks in that varsity doubleheader. In the girls' game, East Wilkes put four players in double figures and dispatched West Wilkes 66 to 25. Chelsea Edwards scored a game high 21 points. Tess Jolly and Lauren Johnson each added 11, and Olivia Bullard scored 10. East Wilkes hit six three pointers in the first half to lead 39 21 at the break. Emily Bumgarner led the Blackhawks with nine. In the boys' game, the Cardinals picked up their second conference win by knocking off the Blackhawks 77-72. East Wilkes press rattled West Wilkes in the fourth quarter and the Cardinals drained enough free throws down the stretch to take full advantage and keep the home team at bay. Alex Greer led all scores with 39 points and tallied his 2,000th career point in the process. For the Cardinals, both Andrew Nance and Sharif Ray racked up 25 points and Joe Logan added 19. The other two Wilkes County teams also squared off on Wednesday in Moravian Falls and North Wilkes took both of those varsity matchups. In the girls game, a balanced offensive attack helped North Wilkes hold off a second half Wilkes Central charge as the Vikings defeated the Eagles 60-53. The Eagles were down as much as 14 points in the third, but the spirited offensive play of Taylor Maston helped the home team climb back within one at the start of the fourth. Maston finished with a game high 19 points all in the second half. Victoria Young scored 16 points and Emily Phillips and Allison Livingood added 15 and 13 respectively. In the boys game, North Wilkes avenged an earlier loss to Wilkes Central with a 61-52 win against the Eagles. Jake Richardson scored 22 points after getting an early foul trouble to help the Vikings go on a 20-7 third quarter run that put the game away. Zach Shoemate scored 18 to pace the Eagles and Zach Wilborn added 11. Jordan Wallace tallied 20, and Daniel Pruitt tacked on 13 for the Vikings. The Cardinals and Eagles had another inter-county test on Thursday night as they met in Ronda. In the girls' game, the Eagles entered the fourth quarter trailing by 17 points, but outscored the Cardinals 24-6 in the final frame to escape with a 47-46 win. The final 30 seconds made for a wild show as Heaven Walker rebounded a missed free throw and put it back in to give the Eagles their first lead of the night. Chelsea Edwards responded with a layup of her own just seconds later to take the lead back, but without calling a timeout, Brooke Bentley raced up the floor and laid it in to take the lead back for the Eagles. Tess Jolly, who scored a game-high 15 points, had a look at the buzzer to win the game, but it clanked off the back iron. In the boys' game, the Cardinals executed down the stretch to come away with a 71-59 win. Andrew Nance dropped in a game-high 24 points for the Cardinals, while Joe Logan added 19 and Sheree Frey chipped in 13. Cayman Bryan scored nine. For the Eagles, Josh Hickman gave Wilkes Central 10 points off the bench. The Eagles got as close as 54-52 following the Dante Turby field basket in the fourth quarter, but Wilkes Central went the next three and a half minutes without a field goal. On Friday night, West Wilkes and Wilkes Central renewed their rivalry in Millers Creek and the Eagles swept the varsity doubleheader. In the girls game, in both teams' third game in as many days, the Eagles held off West Wilkes 69-61. Wilkes Central led the whole way, but West Wilkes, led by a season-high 32 points from Elizabeth Huffman, fought its way back in the fourth quarter. The Blackhawks trailed as, by as many as 19, but drew as close as five in the final minute. The Eagles took care of business at the free throw line to seal the win and improved to 13-7 overall and 6-4 and in the league. In the boys' game, Noah Johnson scored 18 points to lead a balanced Eagles attack as Wilkes Central beat West Wilkes 75-59, avenging a loss to the Blackhawks earlier in the season. The Eagles built a lead behind a 17-2 run in the third quarter and held on late with solid free throw shooting. The Eagles were 33 for 46 from the charity strike for the game, and all nine players scored. Cruz Lowe and Zach Schumann added 15 and 14 points respectively in the win. Alex Greer had another strong night for the Blackhawks with a game high 34. This week, East Wilkes will have a pair of non-conference games in addition to hosting Allegheny. 
West Wilkes will host Starmount Tuesday and North Wilkes on Friday. The Vikings also play Elkin on Tuesday. In Moravian Falls, the Eagles will host Starmount on Friday. As always, be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And while you're at it, go ahead and like us on Facebook, too. We'd like to take this time to thank our sponsors, Cooks and the Dispensary, for their support so far this year. This has been the Wilkes Channel Patriots High School Sports Rundown, presented by Cooks. Thanks for watching.